Hello everyone, it's March 17th. I hope you're finding a way to have a, a happy St. Patrick's Day today. I'm Dr. Adam London from the Kent County Health Department and I want to give you a brief update with where things stand today. Uh, just stepped out of our Kent County Emergency Operations Center. We've been notified of 11 more positive cases statewide today, bringing that total to 65. We've received a couple of samples back from the state laboratory here in Kent County that have been negative. Uh, but again, I think these sample results are a little misleading because so few tests are being done. It's important for everyone to know this virus is out there and the social distancing measures that we're taking are important in order to reduce risk. We're also getting a lot of questions about restaurants. Are they open? Can we go to them? And I want to be very clear that while the governor's order prohibits restaurants and bars from, from being open, restaurants still can operate their drive through and you still can order takeout from a restaurant. Uh, how that happens uh, is, of course, through a phone call or through an, an internet uh, portal. Uh, but then when you go to the restaurant, five people, five customers in total, can enter the restaurant. They then have to be at least six feet apart, according to the governor's order. Anyone else uh, waiting in line needs to wait outside before entering. We're also getting a lot of questions about immune health and what can people do to uh, increase their health in order to reduce the risk that they will get sick by COVID-19. And I think everyone knows the, the basic things that we should do, but I wanna uh, emphasize the importance of drinking lots of water, uh, getting lots of sleep, uh, eating nutritious food, uh, and avoiding stress in as much as possible. And I know that's especially difficult right now because the world has changed so much and there's so much fear uh, that we can see on television and elsewhere. So I wanna encourage you so please, maybe turn the TV off. Turn the TV off for a little while. Get outside, enjoy the sunshine, avoid mass gatherings, of course. But let's do what we can to increase our happiness and our health during this, this very trying time. Let's also think about our kids. You know, as you can imagine, those of us working here at the health department and at local health departments across the state, we're putting in a lot of hours. And we've missed our families for a number of nights. I went home a couple of nights ago and my nine-year-old daughter uh, ran to me a little faster than she usually does and she hugged me a little tighter than she usually does and she held on a little longer than she usually does and I hugged her back and uh, afterwards I sat down and, and I talked to her about you know how she's feeling and how she's doing with all this and uh, it was very clear that, uh, that she's struggling and I think a lot of our kids uh, are struggling, wondering what's happened to the world they know. Uh, the schools are closed, everything is different now. And while those of us who are adults, we can make, we're trying to make sense of this, uh, our children, they don't have that same skill set. They don't have the same ability to really understand and to work their way through this. So I want to tell you that tomorrow I'm going to have a special conversation with Dr. Spikerman from Network 180. And we're going to talk about pediatric mental health and some practical things that we can all do in order to support the kids in our life. It's really important that we make sure that we're, we're being very careful around them and trying to do what we can all do in order to protect them and get through this uh, very challenging time together. So stay positive. Uh, we're all in this together and, uh, and, and we're going to get through this. But it's important that we all stick together. We follow the precautions we've been talking about for some time now, and, uh, and we stay positive. That's all we can do. So I want to thank you. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Adam London. Please continue to like and share our Facebook page, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.